To the south of Night City, you'll find a large area called the Biotechnica Flats. Now, recently I searched every single one of these tents in the hope that an interior existed that would give us a glimpse into what Biotechnica are doing and what CD Projekt Red were going to use this area for. It's only used for a couple of missions within the game, and unfortunately for us, the rest of it is left pretty bare. It's assumed that Biotechnica are growing plants here to form some protein base to feed the citizens of Night City. But what if it's not just plants? Intrigued? Let's get to it. Now, as you can see, the Biotechnica Flats is a massive piece of real estate and it's actually listed as the protein farms. Many people believe that the protein is derived from plants, but Biotechnica have had scientific breakthroughs in not only animal cloning, but human cloning as well. The breakthrough came in the early 2000s, but it came with a caveat. Any person who was cloned didn't have a fully functioning cognitive system, which basically meant that they were a bag of meat. The only way that they could get around this is to add a soul killer like microchip or an artificial intelligence to make that person think and act like a human being. Now you can probably tell where I'm going with this. Now this video was actually born from a comment by Hushodi who mentioned that this area has a creepy atmosphere and it makes you think there's something sinister going on. So what if there is something sinister going on? What if Biotechnica are using half the plantation to grow plants and the other half to test out human clones and throw them in the protein supply? This is just a theory, but no corporate entity in Night City is exactly squeaky clean. Even though Biotechnica tried to stay completely neutral in the fourth corporate war, they still dealt arms to different companies and they still did deals under the table. But now with human cloning, maybe they have some kind of warped moral system where because they need artificial intelligence to become humans after being cloned, maybe they're not human after all. Maybe they're just corporate property that can be done with whatever they feel like. And if you're growing humans and that's a better yield than plants, maybe they decide to throw them in the food supply, who knows. There are many different situations that present themselves in Cyberpunk 2077 that hint towards humans or bodies being thrown in the food supply and all foods when you're dealing with the Maelstrom gang and you can scan the bags of protein and some of it does show as being unknown. It's a very small percentage, but you never know, these companies could be adding a little bit at a time to try and get people accustomed to the taste or something. I don't know, it's a really creepy, really disgusting thing to think about, but it's something I thought might be worth bringing up just to get people talking about what might come in the future. I mean, we've already had a really creepy gig uh, with River and the, the teenagers in that farm, and we've already had a really disturbing uh, religious gig as well. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they expanded on the biotechnic side of things and unveiled this really taboo, massive secret that they were keeping from the rest of the world and you can possibly decide whether to keep it a secret or to expose it and destroy it. I mean they might even be cloning animals for all we know and just keeping it a secret and uh, using it for their own profit and benefit. I mean they're trying to introduce animals, they're trying to introduce new plants, genetically modified things and things like that for the betterment of mankind. But the question is where does the moral line get drawn? If this storyline was actually to present itself within the Biotechnica flats, I'm assuming Sector 4 would be the place to do it. It has a large security gate, there looks like there should be kind of a security office behind that gate. It's one of many areas that have cut off in the Biotechnica flats, but I think this might be the most appropriate area for it just because of how it looks. There is actually a shard within the Biotechnica flats that details black market and illicit protein, but no one knows where that protein comes from or who it comes from. There are many movies that are referenced in Cyberpunk 2077 and one of them is The Matrix. Well, in The Matrix, humans are used as batteries, but in this, they might be used as food. It's not unheard of for people to buy things off the black market that have been taken from people. Just look at the Scavs, for example. They kidnap others for their cybernetics and organs to sell at a profit. But the most damning evidence for Biotechnica's past indiscretions and moral justifications is actually within the Biotechnica flats. It just takes a while to understand what you're looking at. I'll let Ryan explain the rest. Now where did I put my soil and green? Thanks Mike. So this is kind of another offshoot of a video I keep backburnering where I was going to look into the leftover NPC daily routines left in the game. And I've been looking at this area over here that I just refer to as the Biotechnica slum. And it's the area, if you remember at the end of the Nomad prologue, you and Jackie kind of crash into this garage attached to the church. And in this area, it's one of the areas where all the NPCs still have basic daily routines, and they do things like sleep and buy food from the vendor. 
And so I've been looking into it, but something it took me a while to notice is part of their daily routines is they walk over to these objects that I realized were graves because they do the mourning uh, animation that you see at Jackie's funeral. And so I realized there's kind of a whole lot of graves out here for how many people seem to live in the area. And at first I was kind of theorizing that maybe this was the cemetery for the poor of Night City and that the church here was a funerary church. But Mike found a shard nearby that it talks about how this was a normal church and attendance was falling. And it does seem to be abandoned if you look inside. So it kind of made me wonder if there was some sort of tragedy that could have happened here where everyone died. But there is also a gig within the game called Guinea Pigs where a Biotechnica executive in her past, she did an experiment that killed a whole bunch of nomads and the people out here are nomad affiliated. So it's possible that this is actually just really good in-game reference. So if you wonder where that happens, you could come out and find this and it backs up that gig since it's just something that you receive from the fixer and you don't actually go out and talk to the people. But I, yeah, I don't know, necessarily know what it means, but there's a whole bunch of graves out here and I found it interesting that these people have a routine where they go and mourn at them regularly. So the question is, do you think Biotechnica is as good as they say? And do you think they might actually be adding clones to the food supply? Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you like what you see in the content here, check out more on the YouTube channel and you can also discuss things on the Discord channel as well. My name's Mike, you've been watching Deconstructing the Game and as always, we'll catch you later.